Welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you how low the fuel consumption of the Lupo 3L really is in comparison to some of my other vehicles. Okay, so Lupo and Trabant. I'm driving both cars in my daily life and it's really a very different uh, experience between both of them. One is a diesel car, relatively modern, although it's already 26 years old now. And my Trabant is from 1986, although it looks from the 1960s, but that's just how I restored it. So very different technology. Um, modern diesel technology and two-stroke technology. Now let's have a look at the Lupo. I did a couple of yeah, maintenance on it and uh, serviced the car. Um, I will tell you all about it in a separate video. For example, you can also see that I now have this cover here and I couldn't get it anywhere so I just designed it and 3D printed it myself and I can show you all of this in my next video. Now. If we look at the fuel consumption of the car. Now, if we look at the fuel consumption of this car, we have to say it really works. Look at this. It's at 3.0 liters on 100 kilometers now. And I didn't zero it on purpose only for this video. I'm driving around in my daily life and that is my current fuel consumption with it. And we have to say that it's not in perfect condition yet. So I serviced the car, but for example, we are on the wrong tires. So I can show you this here. So actually the tires are too wide right now and they're also winter tires so it doesn't really work well. Also the diameter is slightly different than what the Lupo should have but it already works so I only need three liters of diesel. I have to say in city traffic it needs slightly more so it can go up to three and a half or in, and also if you're going on on the autobahn with constant high speed you also can't keep it at 3.0 but also it doesn't have the aero cover underneath yet. So that was missing when I bought the car. I'm still about to um, buy this or uh, source it somewhere, but the fuel consumption already works. So we only have three liters of diesel in this car. So I just refueled the Lupo with a fuel price of 152. And if I calculate the cost on 100 kilometers with let's say 3.1 liters on 100 kilometers, you end up somewhere at 4 euro 74 which is really cheap and the last time that i spent some money like this on driving with a car 100 kilometers it's probably 15 20 years ago so really amazing this technology really works thank you very much to ferdinand piech this technology still works even 26 years after and now if we look at the trabant very different car so we have 800 kilogram here we have 600 kilogram here, but that's a two-cylinder, two-stroke engine with 26 horsepower. The Lupo has, uh, Lupo has 61 horsepower. And with the Trabant, I have a fuel consumption of 6.3 liter in average. So sometimes it can even go up to seven liters, sometimes six. So let's say 6.3, but it's two-stroke mixture. So it's one to 50. So 2% of oil. Oil price for two-stroke oil, if you get really cheap ones, it would be like six euro. Usually it's something like eight or 10 euro. So in the end, if I'm calculating the cost on 100 kilometers with my Trabant, then I'm ending up somewhere around 12 euro on 100 kilometers. The cool thing is we actually can compare these two cars uh, pretty nicely because both have four seats and both have a decent trunk. So for me in my everyday life, it's pretty much the same use case and I like driving with both, but it's a very different experience. And now to put this into perspective, I want to compare it with two other vehicles. So I took two more vehicles into this comparison, which is my S51 two-stroke moped. It's a 50cc two-stroke moped, same mixture as the Trabant. So for these two vehicles, the fuel price is around 190 because I have to mix the fuel myself. So I take uh, 98 octane super plus plus oil and like we said oil price is between six and ten euro i take six euro now for this calculation so the cheapest possible which is then 190 per liter so for the trabant we ended up with 12 euro on 100 kilometers and actually i can run my phaeton with between seven and eight liter diesel so seven liter on the highway constant speed uh, maybe 80 miles per hour 130 kilometers per hour 
In everyday life on country roads and stuff, it will be more something like 7.3 to 8 liters, depending on if there's a bit of SIFI traffic or not. But let's say for this calculation, 7.5 liter diesel, and which brings us to 1150 on 100 kilometers for the fuel cost for the Phaeton. So actually fuel costs on the Phaeton is cheaper than my Trabant. And we have to see the difference between the two cars. I mean, okay, the Trabant is a two-stroke car, it's from the 1950s, the Phaeton is a lot younger, but still it's a 17-year-old car now. And the Phaeton has a weight of 2,100 kg, the Trabant is just 600 kg. Both can carry four people, or the Phaeton even five. And the Phaeton is a big luxury car with all-wheel drive and a lot more weight than the Trabant, but actually the fuel cost is lower. On the other hand, we have to say, of course, the tax is a lot higher for the Phaeton and also the, um, the insurance is around three times the price of what the Trabant has. On the other hand, we want to see how low the fuel consumption really is on the Lupo. So I try to find a vehicle that is very similar in fuel cost to the Lupo, which is actually my moped. So with this S51 moped, 50cc, I have a fuel consumption of around two and a half liters on 100 kilometers. Like we said, same um, fuel price like for the Trabant, same mixture. And in the end, we come up with a um, or we, we can calculate a price on 100 kilometers for this for around 4 euro 74, 75, something like this. So actually, this is more expensive to run than my Lupo. But also here we have to see the difference between the two vehicles. That's just a small moped. You can carry two people and a little bit of luggage, but that's a full, um, fully usable car. So we have four seats, we have a relatively big trunk. I'm transporting a lot of stuff with the Lupo because if you fold the rear seats, you have a lot of space. And so actually the VW Lupo has the same fuel costs on 100 kilometers as my moped. And actually the Trabant is more expensive than my Phaeton. So I hope you found this interesting. I'm really enjoying to drive these very different vehicles in my everyday life. And I wanted to share some of the facts with you. See you at the next video.